Yo se lo metí con la nota de la pel con la pal y la cuida. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, what's going on? My name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer. For today's video, we're gonna do four different moves and we're gonna go tell failure. You heard me, tell failure. That means there's not an, a set rep. You're just gonna keep going until you can't do any more reps. So let's get right into this workout. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I always tell you not to wear your sneakers your outdoor sneakers to your gym or to your mat, always have them on your bag and then you put them on. So before I actually show you how the moves are, let me just break it down a little bit because I could talk fast and I could sometimes act like I know what I'm doing, but you'd be like, girl, what are you doing? Slow down. So I'm gonna show you four different type of movement that's gonna target your glutes as well as your abs. That's what I get requested the most. So I decided to do a video on those two muscles. So we're starting with deadlifts. After your deadlifts, you're gonna do hip adduction. I really, really need you to focus on this, on this exact exercise. When we get there, I'll show you and give you more detail. Your core, you are gonna be doing bicycle, plank, and I'm gonna throw in a little surprise at the end. So, you know your girl got tricks up her sleeve so now that i told you the four moves that we are actually going to be doing throughout this workout let's get right into it if you like me to add warm-up please let me know on, on the comments below sometimes i don't know if y'all want warm-up or if y'all just want the workout so let me know for this video i am just gonna put little clips of a warm-up and then for tomorrow video let me know do you want me to keep adding a warm-up or will you just like the workout let me know just going to add the butt kicks and just move your arms. You always want to do six different warm-up exercises and you want to do it for 30 seconds. Then you're going to go ahead and move on to downward dog. This is a yoga pose that helps with stretching as well as warming up your entire body. Downward dog targets particularly the hamstring, shoulders, and your back muscles. Good job, guys. Now you're going to go ahead and get into a plank position and I want you to Raise one leg at a time. You are still engaging your core. Good job. Good job, guys. Right after that, I want you to always do this, add this somewhere in your day. You're gonna do a deep squat. That's how I do a check-in on my body. What area needs more love? Every day is different. Okay, we are about to get into the workout, so once I'm done here, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for you guys. We are starting off with deadlifts. So if you wanna use a barbell, you could go ahead and do so. If you wanna use dumbbells, you could go ahead and do so. You got kettlebells. I'll show you how to elevate a deadlift. So you're gonna go into your deadlift, right? You're gonna squat and come up. That would be how you will elevate your deadlift. So deadlift, squat, frontal raise. Now we're gonna go ahead and do hip adductors. You wanna add a band. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. So for today, try not to hold to anything and just use your core. Make sure that you are engaging your entire body. And remember, this is still failure. I'm just showing you how the exercise looks, okay? Then you're gonna switch. What you do on one side, you do on the other. A perfect way to elevate your hip adduction is to add weight. Another elevation to include your entire body will be the same hip adduction, and then just go up. And other way to elevate your hip adductors will be adding a weight to your, the side of your thighs and going up. This workout, you could literally do it three times a week and just change it up. First, work on speed. Then, work on strength. Then, work on toning. Then mix it all up. Let's go ahead and get into the ab exercise. I'll go ahead and show you. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get on the floor. I'm gonna do some bikes. When you're doing bicycles, I want your tip, your fingertips on your, on the back of your head. I don't want your neck to be any, any part of this. Your tips, your fingertips on your, on the back of your head, you're gonna come up, head up. Your elbow does not have to touch your knee. It does not have to touch your knee. What you have to focus is on engaging your core and really feeling this exercise, as well as going extra slow. Another way to elevate your bicycle twist would be to add a dumbbell. Let's say that you don't have weights at home, right? And you are at home. All you have to do, grab a towel, grab a shirt, anything you have, because you're really gonna be working on twisting. Your next exercise is an ab twist. You have the option to do a plank if you just don't want to be on the ground. I know some people have lower back pain and this might be not a good move right now. You have the option to plank it out. Yet again, you're still going to be holding the plank till failure and you're still going to be twisting till failure. A good way to elevate this move will be to raise your legs. If you want to rest between each set, remember you only have four sets because it's till failure. You could do an active rest, which means a light jog, jumping jacks. I don't want you to stay still. I want you to just move around. So whatever that looks to you, that's totally fine, okay? You can even do some squats while you're waiting. From squats, just don't stay still, okay? You should be resting, I would say 60 seconds per set. So you set one. You did it, right? You, you're tired, you did your deadlifts till failure. Active rest. 60 seconds pass, go ahead and do your next move, okay? The surprise of this entire program is that the last exercise, you choose what exercise you wanna do. This is client choice. I'll, I will be showing you different exercises that you could choose from if you don't know which one to choose, but you could always pick your own. Because you are doing glutes or because this program is for glutes. Now, your first move would be side lunge, and I want you to get as low as you can with your side lunge. Another good one is squats. All of my clients love squats. That's why you're my client because I love squats. You could tell when somebody work out with muscle power because they bub looking right. And that's on God. So, weight in front of you, go low, come back up. It's funny, one of my clients got a compliment about his butt. And he said, that's muscle pie. Thank you, bro. That's a fact. They didn't believe in us. God did. Comment down below what exercise you want me to show you because this is all coming from this head. But if you give me like, yo, I want to do this, but I just don't know. Can you give me tips? I'm going to come out like a genie and let you know how to do it, what to do. And that's that. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you tomorrow, so don't be late. Let me not give you a time because I don't know when I'm going to show up. But I'm for sure going to be posting tomorrow. Remember, Vlogmas is almost done. The last day is on Christmas, the 25th. So that will be my last Vlogmas video. I really hope you've been enjoying this journey with me. I was not going to do Vlogmas, honestly, and I was like, I don't want to do it. But I got pressure to do it, and I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I actually showed up for you guys for this entire almost a month guys and I, i'm gonna be honest the 25th is really special for me because that's when i actually passed my certification to be a personal trainer it's funny because i was the only one on the testing site i was the only one there nobody else went and if you know the nasm exam is really hard to pass Nobody really passed on the first try. And I was one of those people that actually passed on the first try. That could, tell, that could show you how hard I worked. When I, told you, uh, when I tell you I was working my ass off and I'm proud of every little thing I did during those months because I put a lot of things in the back burner if I could show up for myself and pass that exam. But yeah, that was a that's a really special day for me because I actually did it. I wish I could get the video when they showed me that I passed because my face dropped. When I tell you my face dropped, I was like, did I just hear that I passed? They said, I have never seen this. I have never seen somebody actually pass the exam on the first try. Guys, 
so special go ahead girl keep doing your thing but i'll see you tomorrow i'm talking too much bye get myself together i'm trying to get myself together i'm trying to get myself together i'm about to put my headphones my headphones guys give me a second i don't even have my sneakers guys so give me a second i'm trying to put my mic on i said freaking um what did i say i said headphones jesus christ You gotta tuck in your shirt. You gotta feel good about yourself. Belda, give me a second, guys. You are seeing what I do before I turn on this camera. Guys, Vlogmas is almost done. That means after Christmas, I'll go back to my normal posting, which is once a week. So I'm gonna miss you guys filming every day for you. You come along with me most of the time. So look forward for my other videos.